We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. It's game one of the World Series between the Boston Red Sox and the Cincinnati Reds. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head-to-head -head with a top finesse arm. Next. Drawing closer to the start of game one, let's join public address announcer Alex Miniak. Ladies and gentlemen, your Cincinnati Reds. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Matty, you take a look at this lineup. I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. Okay, here's how the Reds are lining up in this one. And guys, can we lock in on the gold glover at third base? I've played this position. You got to do so many things. I mean, you have to have just the quickest hands reacting on one Wait, hot line. Full four, take the break. Batting third, the third baseman, number 87. Here comes the first pitch, pulled high in the air out to right field. Moving under it, Gutierrez. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. That is seven the right fielder, Angelo Gutierrez. The 0-1 delivery. Three, three, Found three. out to short. And that's going to find its way into left. Back to back knocks have him going here to start the second. Striding in once again, now number back. 87. He number hit a sack fly earlier. First delivery to him on the way. Pitch outside the throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Good. Stands at second with two gone. Swing and a looper to left. Wellman is after it, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield ground. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Beggars can't be choosers right there. We love those lawn darts. Doesn't matter how they come. Jam off the end of the bat doesn't matter. Digging in now, Nicholas now McDermott. The first baseman, Nicholas McDermott. 0-2, oh, here it comes. Here Swung right. on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Reds will be forced to settle for just the one. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Reds are on top. Three to one. 
Stepping up now, number 87. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And the pitch. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Liner towards second, but right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. In order. Standing in, number 87. He, he singled in two trips to the plate the thus third far. Baseman, number 87. First offering on its way. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this is foul for the first strike. Swung on, hit in the air, and deep. Got a chance, and gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His first homer here in the series as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. is definitely worth giving the show track treatment to and as we look at it not only an impressive distance shot but the 110 miles an hour exit velocity is nothing to scoff at either that's a big boy home run well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game and it took six here to get the job done but hey they'll do whatever they can to get a W here at the World Series you want to make sure you bring the A game and this man right here certainly did he's our top player of the game and Maddie, I think you're absolutely right some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background he was brilliant in this one and this is some well-earned recognition And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. The Reds win the World Series opener and take a 1-0 lead. Just as Sheffield gets the W on the mound, Bart O'Leary was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a 